Hey guys, what's up? So this is the cube light, a small and compact cube shaped emergency solar light that boasts a power output of 3 watt. The light is equipped with high efficient 5 volt 80 milliampere solar panel, intelligently positioned on the back side of the cube. To ensure convenience and versatility, I have ingeniously integrated four magnets, allowing for seamless attachment and detachment of the solar panel from the main body of the light. The primary objective behind development of this portable 3 watt emergency solar light was to create a versatile and reliable lighting solution that could effectively address two common scenarios, blackout and camping. By integrating a compact and lightweight design, the solar light offers exceptional portability allowing it to be easily carried and used in various situations. During blackouts, when traditional power sources are unavailable, the solar light serves as a dependable alternative, ensuring continuous illumination to navigate through darkened spaces provide a sense of security. Moreover, for outdoor enthusiasts and campers, this light proved to be an invaluable companion, offering a convenient and sustainable lighting option that harnesses the power of the sun. We first start this project by preparing a simple yet functional design in the shape of a cube. Inside this design, we have incorporated a 18650 lithium cell, which is connected with an LED load in front and a solar panel on the back side. One of the major aspect or key feature of this project was the detachable solar panel module, which can be replaced with much higher power panel because of its detachable feature. The whole design was made in Fusion 360. With Fusion 360, we initially create the design for the LED PCB, battery and solar panel. When components are designed first, the placement and design become simpler and more obvious because we only need to create bodies around already designed components. After preparing the components, we made the middle body, which will hold the battery inside and will contain another part, which is the LED holder. The LED holder will hold the LED PCB, which will be placed inside the body. It will act as both the LED holder and a closing lid for keeping the lithium cell in its place. We then model a solar panel holder that contains four magnets near each edge. The magnet will be held in their place using nothing but a tight fit. Solar panel will be held in its place using double sided tape. After finalizing the design, we export all the parts and use Cura to slice all the mesh files and then 3D print them using my good old Ender 3. Yellow PLA was used with a 0.4mm nozzle and 0.2mm layer height. As for sourcing components for this project, I got the solar panel used in this project from PCBWay's gift shop. PCBWay gift shop is an online marketplace where we can get variety of electronics module and board for their genuine price. Or you could use PCBWay currency which is called beans. You get beans after ordering something from PCBWay as reward points or you can get them by posting any project in the PCBWay community. Check out PCBWay for getting great PCB service at an affordable cost. In this project, we are using shiny round ferrite magnets also known as ceramic magnets which are type of permanent magnet made from composite of iron oxide and barium or strontium carbonate. They are known for their relatively low cost and high coercivity and resistant to demagnetization. We start the magnet assembly by first grouping them together, pair of two will be required for each edge. Next we mark pair so we can attach four pieces to the mid body first and then add the same pair to the solar holder. We place the panel in 3D printed holder with double sided tape. Next we connect the wire harness positive and negative terminals with the solar panel PV plus and PV negative terminals using a regular soldering iron. After soldering the wires on panel's PV terminal, we check the voltage of panel under the light, which is 4.0 volt. The wiring of the setup is super simple. The lithium ion battery positive and negative goes into the IP5306 module battery con. The solar module get connected with the GST connector added to the IP5306 module and the LED load gets connected directly with the battery through a resistance in series to limit the current flow through the LED load. 
A rocket switch is added between the positive of the battery and the positive of the LED load. As for connecting the LED load directly to the battery, the battery already have a PCM module which will cut off the battery output voltage once the battery voltage reaches 2.8V. After wiring, we add LED holder in its place using 4 M2 screws. Using the same M2 screws, next we attach the LED PCB to the LED holder. Link the positive from the switch to the positive of LED load and connect the resistor to the ground of the LED load. Here, a 1.5 ohms 2 watt resistor is being used. Here is the result of this small build. A small portable solar light that can be used during blackout, camping or just to eliminate anything, anywhere, anytime. The primary advantage of the system was the detachable panel setup. We could create a separate module to fit a different panel and attach it to the current system without altering the body structure. To replace the existing solar panel, we only need to create a new solar panel holder. Well, this is it for today folks. Do leave a comment if you need any help regarding this project. Thanks PCBWay for supporting this project. You guys can check them out if you need great PCB service and stencil service for less cost and great quality. And I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.